Hey guys, so I'm doing another video on Windows 10 on how to stop Microsoft from spying on you or seeing like just your behaviors on your computer. You, you don't want Microsoft to see uh, basically everything you're doing and um, so basically they have these their apps and stuff like that that know like what you like and stuff like that so we want to get rid of those things in that nature. Um, so first thing what we want to do is you want to make your account um, a local account because uh, if you're using the Microsoft account, it's going to give you access to all their apps, and that's how they're going to be able to speak back and forth. You're going to be speaking back and forth to their servers. So we want to disable that. Um, so let's go to Start, and then you want to go to Settings. All right. And then let's go to Accounts. So right here at the bottom, you want to make sure you're a local account. So sign in with a local instead. Uh, let me type my password in. And then you just want to, whatever your username, I'm going to put Prime. If you want a password, just put a password. You don't have to. Okay, so once you sign out and sign back in, now uh, you're a local account. The only downfall about this is that you can't use Cortana, but I really don't need to use Cortana. Um... I'm really not going to be talking to my computer head, telling them to do everything. Uh, it's up to you. If you still want to use Katana, you have to stay as a Microsoft account, but I usually recommend using a local account. Um, all right, so the next what we want to do is uh, we want to go to our privacy settings. So let's go to settings, privacy. All right, in here, we want to disable this. Like, we don't want advertising, ID, um, the smart screen filter. I mean, this could be good to have if you want to purchase legit stuff. Um, I'm going to turn it off. Uh, I would recommend turning it off as well. You don't want to send information back to Microsoft. Let's disable that. And let's see. Let websites provide local relevant content by accessing my... Uh, this is only if you're using multiple languages. Um, I'm only using English, so this has no benefit to me. So I'm going to disable that as well. Um, also, what you want to do is let's go to here, manage my uh, Microsoft advertising. So you click on there, and then you want to just turn this off because you don't want ads on your browsers. Turn that off as well, and then just close it out. All right, location. This is important. Uh, this is uh, basically when you're on your computer, it's gonna Microsoft's gonna know your locations and where you're at. So let, uh, we don't need that. So let's disable that as well. So uh, if you scroll down here and uh, these are all turned on, that means you're on the Microsoft's account. If you're on a local account, these are disabled. But if you are on a uh, Microsoft account and you, you just because you want to keep Cortana and all that, just disable these as well. All right. Uh, next thing, what we're going to do, we're going to go to camera. See how these are? It's already automatically accessing your webcam. So uh, I'm going to turn that off, and this will turn off all the apps as well. The microphone. This is another thing. Is if you want to use your microphone to access your apps, uh, you can. If you just want it for sound recorder, you can keep that on, but we don't need it for that or Xbox. Alright, so speech, stop getting to know me. So you we don't need it for Katana because we're not using it, so let's just stop it, turn it off. Contacts. See this is how it has access to your mail and your uh your calendar, so we should disable these as well. Calendar, I'm not using the calendar, so I'm gonna turn these off. Messaging. If you're using the Windows Phone, you can have this on, but I'm not, so I'm turning it off as well. Other devices. This is syncing to your devices as well. Um, I'm just going to turn that off because uh, I really don't have any devices I'm syncing, like uh, like a tablet or phone, so we can turn that off as well. This is important. The, the feedback and diagnostics. See how it's already automatically set to automatic. I'm going to select never and very basic. 
if they do want to send back blah blah, blah you know Microsoft need to have something uh, so let's close that out next what we want to do is uh, we want to do uh, the Wi-Fi um, this might not apply to everyone but um, if you do have Wi-Fi just click on network settings alright you want to manage Wi-Fi settings so I would suggest turning this hotspot off because uh, basically you don't want your your computer always looking for hotspots to connect to you want you can do it manually you can select your networks manually you don't need it to do that so I'm turning that off and then connect to network share by uh, contacts you don't want Microsoft access in your contacts and connect to networks like that either so uh, turn that off as well and then exit um, one more thing uh, I found this neat tool online that's pretty cool so let's go to Google and then type in um, it's called Windows Tweaker 4 hit enter it's the first link up top and it's, it's this pretty cool tool that uh, it gets more in depth of how to disable all their my Windows 10 features um, so if you want to download it all you gotta do is click here at the bottom you can either wait five seconds save it now we want to open the folder you have to extract it double click on it and then click on the app Yeah, blah blah blah. So thanks for choosing. All right, now you can get even more in depth. Uh, removing like their volumes. This is a true customizer of Windows 10, which is pretty cool. Um, so you could disable all of this, but be very careful what you disable because um, you wanna. If you don't know what it is, don't disable it. Like so you can go through here, like disable command prompt. Like I I use command prompt all the time. Like I would disable user access control stuff like that. Ability to sign out, you, you should keep that on. Um, you don't want to disable control panel. You don't want to disable task manager. I mean, if you're never going to use it, then you could disable it. But um, I would definitely uh, go through it. If you don't know what it is, just leave comments down below, and I'll ask you, and I'll answer your questions. Sorry. Um, also, uh, like right here, OneDrive. Uh, some people use it. Some people don't. I use it because of my Xbox, I upload videos and stuff like that, so it's all about your preference, what you're using. Uh, Internet Explorer, same thing, you can disable the menu bars, you can say, just make sure you go through this very carefully and read everything so you can customize to the way you want it to be. Um, also, before you do anything, you should create a restore point here at the bottom, okay? Um, one last thing before I let you guys go. Uh, Microsoft Edge, sorry about that, it's just in your apps right here. You want to disable some things in here as well if you use Microsoft Edge. Uh, so just go to Settings, View Advanced Settings. Right in here, this is where you can customize your Edge. Um, I Truly, I don't use uh, Bing as my search. Uh, I usually change it to like Google. So, bam, you set it as default. Uh, send out track track request. I will turn that off because you don't need Microsoft to send that out as well. And that's about it. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave comments below. Um, thanks, thank you guys for always subscribing to me. Um, I'm at 2K now. Uh, I'm trying to get to 100, so uh, I'm going to be making videos pretty much every week. Uh, if you guys have any more questions on Windows 10, uh, contact me uh, through the comments, or you can leave uh, comments on my uh, channel, and I'll get back to you. So thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time.